Hello guys, my name is Felipe with Velocity Factor. Today we have a very exciting vehicle coming in for a set of lowering springs. Uh, let me take you to the back to show you the latest Porsche 718 Cayman. So this is the hard part right here is getting this, this amount of shock that goes all the way through the knuckle out. So you've got to take out all these arms, sway bar, uh, rear control arm, even the arm over here um, that holds the, uh, the lower knuckle. Everything's got to come loose in order for this to, to drop down. This is the most difficult part, in my opinion, of the whole job. This guy right here presses into this. And the only way to get it out really is to heat this up carefully without burning the rubber and, uh, and very carefully hitting it uh, with, a, uh, with a tool that compresses and pushes it out. Or if you want to, you can hit it with the nut in place and you will damage the nut and have to replace it. But um, the rear is definitely probably one of the hardest cars that we do here at the shop. And like I said, we've been doing this for 20 years. There's a lot of difficult cars that we've done, but the rear of the uh, Porsches is usually one of the hardest. All right, so here, we finish taking out all the panels in the back. They just simply snap out and up. Um, there's some 13 millimeter nuts that are holding the shock in place, just like any other car, it's pretty straightforward. Just gotta be careful with some of this plastic piece and there's a harness in the way. So this is definitely a job that you don't wanna do in your garage because um, I couldn't do this in my garage without my, you know, without Tarsi's help, without a lift, without some, heavy duty tools so uh trust me you can do a honda civic you can do a subaru wrx in your garage you can do a mazda but not these guys they're a lot harder So what we're going to do here is we're going to compress the spring to allow some of the tension to free up from the spring. So when we loosen the nut, it doesn't go flying forward. These don't have that much tension, but you still have to be safe. I always like to put this guy here, make sure the shock doesn't fall. There it is. All right, so here we have the H&R spring. We're gonna go ahead and install that. We're gonna rotate that until it locks on the perch of the shock. Next up, a um, common, common textbook mistake is that we've seen people install everything right, but this didn't line up. As you can see, these little nubs, if you switch them, they don't line up. So you gotta make sure that you just find the way they're supposed to go like this, and then you can go ahead and put it all back together. So this is the spring locator, and the top perch goes like that. And Tarsi was just mentioning to me to make sure that those line up, so we'll make sure those line up. And we're gonna put our washer, made in turkey, facing up, and then our nut. And then we can go ahead and tighten the whole cohesion. I wanna show you next how everything gets back and installed on the car. So Tarsi is going to go ahead and install that guy up here. I'm gonna go ahead and just put some of these nuts up here on to secure it. Push it a little bit more up. Good. We don't wanna tighten the nuts all the way at the top yet because we sort of want it to be able to be loose on the bottom. So it's not stiff as we're going up because we're going to wanna have some flexibility down there. Um, is there's a lot of things that are have to come together all at once. So I'm just basically pulling these up a little bit tighter and that's it. I'm going to leave them loose. Once we're done buttoning everything up on the bottom, then I'll go ahead and uh, add some weight and tighten these ones in the back here. Come on. There you 
you go. That's the hardest part of the whole equation right there. So make sure that that lines up. And then we're gonna continue to go up with that until it stops right there. Go up a little more, Thompson. Boom, that's it. Okay, once we have that bolt good and tight, this is gonna hold itself up. Then we can raise the car up, like we're gonna show you now, and then button everything on the bottom. Once everything is tight, we're gonna look up the torque specs and then just torque everything to spec specification. All right, so there it is. This is the finished product. And as you can see, the car looks fantastic. It's got the proper stands. It looks so much better now. It's gonna handle a lot better too. And uh, that's what the look that we're looking for. That's gonna give you that modern, uh, you know, sports car look that we were after. Thank you so much, H&R, for making a fantastic product. My name is Felipe. You can always contact me here at Velocity Factor with any performance questions that you might have. And until next time, I'll talk to you guys soon.